Welcome back to FNTV at MWC 25. I'm Steve Saunders, and I'm excited to welcome Pear Kangaroo, Director of Cloud Strategy at Test and Measurement and Assurance Company, Viavi. Welcome, Pear. Uh, Pear, we've been hearing a lot here about the evolution of um, telcos to technology companies, or yes. techcos. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? Great question. So fundamentally, the, this strategy and the transformation is really around how do you remove the friction in order to do business. And this friction is, is today a lot about manual processes. How do I digitize that? And how do I make sure that that move into a good way so you can both operate whatever infrastructure you want in a good and modern way, and then making sure that it can operate automated. Mm -hmm. So that move is really tech, telco to techco, and then the evolution from techco over, um, over, over, over the next number of years. Mm -hmm. And a big part of that is obviously centering around AI uh, and centering around the Network Operation Center, which is really the heart yes. of service providers, networks. Are you seeing um, heavy deployment of AI in the NOC? So, so first of all, it, it starts with things that are far more basic than AI, mm. because you, you need to get the basics right first. You need the data, then from the data you need to be able to do I mean, boring things we've done for many, many years mm. technology-wise, which is machine learning, forecasting, and so on. That then leads up to the ability to take AI decisions. Mm. So yes, those, those AI steps is happening right now, and we are moving that into, I mean, very effective ways of automation. Um, what is a dark knock? Dark knock. Well, this is really the holy grail. This is where we take the existing sites of where hundreds of people work, and we just move, move and leave and switch off the light. Okay. And then everything operates by themselves. And put it in space in a vacuum? We could potentially do that, but we, I mean, more importantly is that we, in order to do this, you really have to know what you want. Mm. And, and you have to understand your intent. Mm. Because operating a network from one operator to the other one in the same country is two very different things. Mm. They have different business objectives. Yeah. And that's why you need to have a dark knock, which is really understanding the intent of what you want to do and moving it there. So it's not only just a matter of switching off the light and moving on and having mm. old business processes, I mean, automated, is knowing how you want to evolve that in a good way. Mm. But what happens when things go wrong? I know you've got this um, lab, lab as a service or test as yes. a service concept. Yeah. Um, what does that do and how does that help so, uh, with the dark knock yeah. challenges? So, so fundamentally, dark knock is normally what you would call a, call a day two operations. Mm. Day two means that we, we take our live network. But before that, we obviously have something that's been engineered. Mm. What, what, what normally what, what are called day zero. So we link day zero to day two. So if we now identify a bug and an issue in, 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 in operations, mm -hmm. can we then automatically create the test cases that allow you to fix and find these issues in, in that lab environment? Mm -hmm. That's where lab as a service comes in, both as a technical means of achieving this, but as well as from business model, where we can then make sure that operators, even small ones, will have these, uh, these capabilities, rather than investing millions and millions building up their own labs and hiring, I mean, tons of people who's, who's capable of doing things. Or, or worse, uh, deploying it on a live network without testing it first. That's uh, that's a problem you don't want to have, no. Exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, so you are essentially creating a AI safe space or a sort of a DMZ, and yes. I mean, it, to me, it sort of seems similar to this concept of digital twin. Yes, yes. Uh, is, is that related? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, digital twin is a piece of technology mm. you use to create these environments. And, and you can use either digital twin to harness whatever information you have mm. and use that to then do forecasting and, and projections of the future, what it's going to look like, mm. uh, help you build CapEx plans or OPEX plans for that matter. Mm. But you can as well, use, in the same way, use the digital twin technology, single-handedly internal, to achieve certain outcomes. Mm. And, and we do both. Mm. And what about AI RAN? That's obviously a big deal at the moment. Are yes. you, are you uh, working on that at VRV? Absolutely. And so, so customers of ours have used our tools to test and validate AI functions in RAN for many years. What we're now having is AI RAN Alliance, mm -hmm. and there's a number of, uh, um, I mean, great demos at the show, which we're part of, and, and there, there, there have been good announcements in the last couple of days on, mm -hmm. on how we support that. And, and that, that is just the start of that evolution. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Per, thanks so much for coming and talking to us at FNTV today. Thank you for having me. It's been great.